reading is fundamental. fundamental. What up, everybody? This is Dwight Scott here with another book review. And today's review is about a very popular, very important book that is titled The Richest Man in Babylon by George Clayson. And The Richest Man in Babylon is a book about money management, but it's a book that's different than most money management or most financial books that are out there. The Richest Man in Babylon is written in old English sort of literary style, but it is very clear and a very succinct book. And despite the manner in which the language is written, it's still very clear and very easy to digest. Right. So essentially, The Rich Man of Babylon is about managing money, growing money, saving money, and understanding what actual assets will make your life and your family's life a lot better. And the book is broken down into sort of seven core principles, right? The first being what is titled Start Thy Purse to Fatten, essentially, which is saving money. And as the author, or the author suggests that people should save money, roughly around 10% of their money, but it's always important to make sure that you pay yourself first. So when you get your income, you always take out a portion that you keep it, that you're gonna say, this is, I'm not spending this, this is for saving. Everything else I may spend, but this here is it's almost, it's a religious act, like I'm not doing this, I'm not touching this, right? From there, it goes on to number two, which is to control your expenditures, or essentially control your expenses, right? That the idea that even if you do have money coming in, no matter how much money is coming in, you have to go you have to be guarded about how much money is going out so you have to get expenses that are necessary that make sense not sort of a little uh, frivolous sort of spending lifestyle want to be thrifty right not overly so to the point where you're handcuffed in a way but you definitely want to control your uh expenses so that you make sure that you don't um lose money unnecessarily the third statement Make that goal multiply is all about investing. And in this book, in Rich Man of Babylon, the author suggests that when it comes to investments, people should invest in a sort of defensive manner, in a safe way. The idea of investing, according to this particular book, is about protecting the principle, right? Measuring the risk to reward and understanding that if the risk is too high, the reward is not, it, it, it's not worth it. So you want to protect the, the principle first and grow from there if you can but always be wise about your investments do your research talk and consult with people who do this for a living or who um, have studied this in depth before you make um, any investment and that ties into the fourth point which is guard thy treasure from loss which essentially is guard your principle be smart about what you put your money don't be risky don't be so just don't, don't put yourself in unnecessary positions or put your money and unstable asset. The fifth one is make thy dwelling a profitable investment. And essentially what, what the author is saying is first and foremost, you should own your home, right? If you own your home, right, you wanna make sure that you have a quality home, you take care of it, you've done the due diligence when it comes to buying the home, uh, you wanna buy everything in the right way. And when owning the home, it's not just a financial investment. It's, a, it's an emotional investment for you and your family. You want a stable place for you and your family. If you have a family, you're raising children, you have a spouse, whatever it may be, significant other. Uh, you want somewhere that you can call your own, that's safe, that's clean, that is peaceful. And that's, that's a very important point in the book. Followed by number six, which is ensure future income. That section is about making sure that you have set yourself up to the point where you can have a sustainable income after retirement or in uh, the, your elderly age and having some sort of provisions in place so that your, your family can have money after you have uh, passed away. So setting, setting things up so that if you're not, your family is taken care of in, in, in a lot of different ways, right? They don't necessarily just um, go into uh, a total deficit because they don't have your income or your earning power. Very important point there. And then the last point of the book is increase the ability to earn. Uh, basically, um, continue to sharpen your skills continues to think about ways in which you can improve your earning ability, right? Whether that is being an entrepreneur who provides services or products or uh, gaining more skills to make yourself more marketable in the workplace, whatever it may be. It's a very important point that you never ever limit your ability to make money. So those seven principles pretty much make up the book. The book is extremely popular. It's a very short book, a very easy read. Um, doesn't take very long. And it's just, it's a book that when you talk about money management, many of the people who are deep into money management, deep into finance, this is one of their core books, right? The Rich Man of Babylon is one of their core books. 
So I'm recommending it to you, no matter where you may be in your financial professional journey, no matter where you may be in age, whether you are a young person, high school, college, fresh out of college, or you are someone who is a retirement age, um, an elder, whatever it may be, The Richest Man in Babylon is an absolute gem. It is a cornerstone of any finance library. So I'm recommending it to you. I love it. I read it years ago, 15 plus years ago, and it stays by my side. It stays by my side. I keep it in my library. I recommend it to everybody. I bought a couple copies and passed them out to people over the years. So I'm recommending this to you. Right? The Richest Man in Babylon by George Clayson. Check it out. I guarantee that you will love it. Uh, you won't be disappointed. All right? So, it's the Richest Man in Babylon, George Clayson. Reading, Reading. is fundamental. fundamental. fundamental.